on a scale from one to ten I'd have to give it a ten I have not found one bad thing yet set up for the first time my new tent. This is it. This is the Nemo. Nemo wagon top tent. And it looks kind of freaky setting it up so we'll see how well it, it does. Uh, let's see what we got in here. Very important to remember how it unfolds so it will fit back in the bag when you're done. So let's see what we got here. Let's see if we can find the front. Let's see a door. Okay, this is the front. We gotta spin her around. So basically, it looks like it was folded in half and then folded in half again. And then they just folded it up. I wonder if I roll it up, if it would be better. All right, there's the back of the tent. Got a tarp to go under it that is sticks out two feet in the front. So I'll have a little porch area. All right, first thing to do is stake it down. Got to go get my hammer. These are the tent stakes that came with it. I may end up using my tent stakes from my old tent because they're a little better than these. One in each corner. All right, what do we got here? It comes with two tent poles. This is one of them. And it's got the shock cord, kind of like my chair does, where it's, so it always goes back where it's supposed to. Save that. Let's see here.
is a little crazy. Okay, so I think what works is the long one is in the back. And it's this one. This is the long one. We'll do this with one person. We shall see. Hmm. Put that in that hole. I think the long one. Inside hole. That's supposed to be on the outside hole. So let's move this back one hole. Yeah, that one's already there. All right. So that is the front frame, and we got one more. I'm going to set this one up back here. I know you don't know what goes where until you start getting it together. Looks like the long pole, which goes to the front. Trees in the way. Now, it's in there. And I'll get this. Outside hole. And that's it. It's kind of crazy. That's the frame. Now, you're just supposed to uh, hook the tent up. Let's see how we do this. That's the front. Now, what we got to do is I don't know if that's how it goes. And now we got to do this. Back up. This thing catches the wind.
One more. And don't have to worry about hitting your head. I like it. Whew. Worked up a sweat. See how these windows open. Got little buckles. Buckles on the sides. A little shock cord that runs through it in the middle. There we go. So there's the window. So I got a window up there. Let more breeze through. Looks like it's basically you got snap on both ends and Velcro in the middle. So, you got this window, got a window up here to let some air in, and then the front has a window. This one doesn't close, it's always open. So if that becomes a problem in the winter time, I may, I may rig up something with uh, some Velcro. Piece of, cut a piece of a tart that size and put some Velcro along there. You got a little pocket in the front here, pocket over there. You got three pockets in front. Right now the doorway is tucked into the middle pocket. So you can open it all the way up and then you'll see later once I close that up, the different options in the door you have. And you got some pockets, a couple pockets on the back. And place there to hang a lantern on top. Got a place there so you could uh, hang some paracord across there and go all the way. You go from that one all the way across to the back. I'm gonna probably put some paracord across there just to give me another option to hang stuff. And that's it. I think I'm gonna like it. It's a little bit, the floor is a little bit bigger than my other one. But my other one, you couldn't you couldn't put a cot very close to the wall because it was a dome tent. That's the problem with dome tents. This one, the wall is actually sucked out. Give me all kinds of room. Shaped like a wagon top. Could be why they call it the wagon top tent. I'm gonna put some uh, guide wires on it because I've seen where these things will blow away really easy. I don't want that to happen. So, guide wires it is. All right, here we go. Got everything in my tent. 
got plenty of room for gear in here. A little bedside table, got a heater, it's supposed to get down 31 tonight. Got my roller cot, X pad, pad with a mountain trapper, Cabela's sleeping bag. Got my little fluff pillow. And that's it. Okay, if you're wondering, uh, if you're wondering where the door is, uh, it actually fits in this little pocket right here. And let's see how this does. That needs to be up there. Right. Put my electrical cord right through there. Let's open the windows. Those doors aren't real tight at all. I like that. All right, now, so I'm just open the window. Yeah. All right, there's one side. the other side. That's it. All right. So if you got decent weather, you know it's not going to rain, you can just leave it like this. But there's no covering this window up here. So uh, it's got like a little porch area here. And I see buckles. One, two, three, four. Actually, buckles down there too. One, two, three, four, five, six buckles. So I assume there's also six buckles on here. Okay, I see. It'd be easier if you open the doors. So you can step inside. There we go. That's how you do it. All right, two buckles on the bottom. Don't. All right, I'm gonna close this before I stick it out. And there you have it. That's what it looks like with the porch on it.
then get you out of the sun here. Want to open it up. door up. Lots of ventilation. Although tonight I'm going to be closing everything off and turning the heater on. But yeah. On my last tin I had a tarp hooked up to the front of it for a porch. And let me try to see if I can do the same thing with this one. I can utilize all this space down here when it's raining to sit out of the rain because I can't get in my car because I'm on a motorcycle. So, yeah, I did put some guide wires up. Um, one of the things that people talked about was this thing is so top heavy, or not top heavy, but it's so big it catches the wind. And a lot of people have problems with it blowing over. First of all, I don't think with all the crap I got in there, it's not gonna blow over, but I did hook up guide wires everywhere. Three on each side. Got a tree there, and on the other side I had a set of trees to tie it to. Oh, I got one more to put over here. Got a guy wire there, onto that tree. I'm gonna put another one there, going over to that tree there. Got the rope there, I just forgot to put it up. But, supposed to have some strong winds tomorrow. And if so, my tent's not gonna blow over. Okay, at this campsite marks the third time I've set this tent up. So now I know the ins and outs, the goods, the bads, and all that stuff. Two of those times, I set it up while it was windy. And I did see a video online of a guy who set the tent up. He went inside and when he came back out, it blew down the hill. So I've been very cautious about putting out guy ropes. And the way I do it is, let's just say when I set this up, there was a strong wind coming from this direction, blowing this way. So what I did, I, I set the frame up first. That's how, that's how you set it up. Set the frame up first. And then when I started clipping the tent to all the little places, I started on this side. And I clipped it up to here and I clipped this side up to here same with the back and then I went ahead and tied off the guy ropes so if I got a big strong gust of wind it's not gonna blow that way then I went around to the other side and I did the exact same thing then I went ahead and put the clips on the top and it was done that's the way to do it when you're setting it up in the wind. If it's not windy, you don't have to worry about it. Just pop all those clips on there, you're done. But, I really like this tent. So, on a scale from one to 10, I'd have to give it a 10. Because I tried to think of good things about it, bad things about it. I have not found one bad thing yet. And it's, it's cool that it has a lifetime warranty. So if something does happen to it, I'm covered. But one of the cool things about it, every tall tent I looked at, I mean, it would pack up. The pack size was humongous on those things. It's, it's the same size as my Coleman darkroom tent. Nemo wagon top four person tent. I highly recommend it. <laughs>